this is Keith Gleason, host of Indie Comics Relay, creator of the Mighty Mascots, and promoter for the Plastic City Comic Con. And I am here with another serial review. This this week or this month, we're reviewing Hot Wheels cereal. So this is going to be an interesting one. Um, but before we get into that, I uh, just want to remind you, Mighty Mascots 789, still on demand on Indiegogo. We are inching closer and closer to completion. We we um, got a few more pages of artwork for issue nine. Uh, they're being lettered. They're being colored at the same time. And then also I'm, I'm tweaking a little bit of, of seven and eight at, while we're at it. So hopefully we can have all the, the everything finalized and ready to go to the printer. Excuse me, by the end of May. And then, uh, yeah, we'll be good to go. So if you haven't backed it yet, if you like fun superhero comics, Check the link below in the description and back Mighty Mascots. All right. So we are doing a serial review. Um, it seems like I've been doing, you know, one of these every month or every other month or so. Whenever I see something new and interesting at the supermarket. So we found this Hot Wheels cereals. So I'm going to take a quick break. We're going to fade out and we're going to go to my kitchen as I take a closer look at the cereal. All right. We'll be right back. All right, everybody, here we are with the cereal, so let's pour some. So they're, they look like Fruit Loops uh, rings. And then there's all kinds of weird marshmallow shapes. Like that looks like, I think, uh, a puff of smoke. This looks like a weird like wheel with a star in it. And then it looks like lightning bolts, which are probably put together from other cereals. But it looks, you know, it looks pretty cool. So let's uh, go back to the studio and try this out now. All right. All right, we're back. So I got the cereal right here. So I cut that camera and ran right downstairs so we could start this. So, all right, so let's go into the taste test now. and just make sure we get, um, the marshmallows and a little bit of the, you know, the, the regular cereal in here. So let's try this. Mm, not bad. Let me try another one here. Yeah, I like it a lot. Um, so, my impression of it so the the rings the crunchy rings definitely feel like so it has an orange taste let me just start there it has an orange taste to it the rings themselves taste like they're part of the fruit loops brand like they probably pulled the the rings from the fruit loops and then this the the marshmallows are soft as well we got a nice consistency to them and, and I don't know if that's because the cereal's fresh or not. Or, you know, usually the marshmallows are tougher and they taste more like that astronaut ice cream. But yeah, these are pretty good. It's got a very orangey kind of taste to it, which is. Yeah, I like this. I would buy this again. It's sweet, and like I said, at first it, you 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 uh, feel like you're eating Fruit Loops, but then the orange kind of taste comes into it, and the the marshmallows have that orangey taste, so it's like an orange cream kind of flavor. So it's pretty good. I actually like it. So yeah, this one I would buy again. Um, so that's good. So taste, I give it you know a solid A minus B plus around there. They're not the, I mean, they're not the greatest cereal I've ever tasted, but it's good. I would buy this again. So now let's take a look at the box here, which we always like to do on these these uh, videos. So I love the front of it. I was never big on Hot Wheels as toys as a kid. You know, I know they were really cheap, so you could get one. You know, if you're, you had like a low, uh, you know, allowance. But I was never, I'm not a car guy, you know, I was never into the Hot Wheels stuff. So, but I love the the cover here, you know, the front of this. I remember the one, the one of the big things with Hot Wheels was those racetracks where they had the, 
the loop to loop and you know the, the orange race tracks and you would I think there was a thing that would launch them and they would go flying through. Usually they go flying off the tracks, but, and I, I see that they included that track right here, you know, with uh, the, with the cars and everything. If you look close, uh, it's got a picture of the cereal on the bottom there and you know, the hot wheels logo, of course, which is in there. You can see a city background, a nice, not a bad cover. You know, I, I caught my eye and went in the grocery store, you know, so that's good. So on the one side, we got the, the nutritional facts. Let me see if we can get there. So it's uh, like one, let me see, there's a 190 for one cup. So 190, one cup, so about 400 calories with milk, which is a little more than standard cereal, you know, sugary cereal. Um, so that's a little more, but I mean, average is usually around 300 to 400 anyway. So nothing special on the top, but the logo there. And same with the bottom. There's just a logo. Now, on the back is kind of interesting. So they, they have this. So it's a car wash cutout. So if you uh, like, you know, if you have kids that are playing with Hot Wheels and you can add an extra toy here by cutting out and creating a, a Hot Wheels car wash, which is kind of fun. And on the side, it has the instructions and also a cutout two cutout cars i guess that would go through the the car wash it kind of shows that it right here put together which is kind of interesting i mean that's kind of fun you know like i like i said i don't get hot wheels it was not a toy that i loved but um you know the people that do love it i know there's like hardcore collectors of all the cars i mean it's got to be a hundreds of these things out there car wise you know i give the box a solid b plus and a minus too i think it's a great box um well actually let's see would i put this in my collection probably not because i'm not a hot wheels guy like i'm not a fan so i don't think i would keep this i have no nostalgia for hot wheels um and you usually when i do these reviews i like to go and look in into the history of you know, some, you know, if it's like a character, uh, serial, or if it's like, you know, like, um, when it was, uh, Captain Crunch, the last one, I went and looked at the history of Captain Crunch, but I, I started to look at the history of Hot Wheels and I'm just so not into Hot Wheels that I just couldn't even get interested in the Wikipedia page. <laughs> so I couldn't even read it. I just, it just, I'm not a Hot Wheels guy. The, although I will say the one thing that I really liked, and I think it was Hot Wheels. Yeah, it was. It was back in the, when I was growing up in like the early, yeah, like mid 70s around there. They uh, had these Marvel Hot Wheels cars and they were like these vans. And the cool thing about them was that you, they had an opening in the back that you could peek through. And when you looked inside, there was like a cool picture of like Spider-Man or Captain America or something like that. So that I liked. I was a big fan of those. And I found one of them on eBay so I could show you guys what I was talking about. So here, check this out. So this is the car that... Um, let me make the screen bigger here so you can see it. So this was the car that that I was talking about. So if you look through it, it had Spider-Man on the side and, uh, you know, on the back. Let me see if we can go closer here so you can get some of the, the details. 78, so a little later than I thought, but I remember having these as a kid. And then, um, you know, front, back. And then this is what I was talking about. If you look through the back and you held it up to light, you could see... You know, you could see like Spider-Man fighting. It looks like he's fighting Doctor Doom in this, which is really freaking cool. And I think the 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 Captain America one, he was fighting, you know, Red Skull or something like that. You know, because this is classic Marvel. You know, so yeah, really cool stuff. Fifty bucks this thing's worth. I wish I kept mine. I think I had Captain America though, and I don't know if that was more or less. Um, worth more than this one or not but really cool stuff so and i love the old like like the frontier on the you know <laughs> the the back and the you know like the plastic uh windshield it was great stuff um so yeah that was that was like one of the only hot wheels i kind of got into when i was a kid you know but otherwise i was not a big fan of those i just 
the whole car thing, the car culture. I just never got into it, but I know a lot of people that did. And I got to admit, they do have some cool superhero based ones even now. Like I've seen some of the the packaging and they have like they put like an old comic in the back and then the the card, you know, the car is on the the card, you know, with the bubble the plastic bubble and all that so so some of that's cool not enough that i would even be like oh i gotta get this and add it to my collection but i could see almost buying something like that you know so but um back to the cereal so taste great um and the box is good too so i would say if you are a sugary cereal fan check this cereal out and if you're a Hot Wheels fan, you may want to get it just for the box, just to have that cool thing with your, to hang with your 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 cars, you know, or you know, in your room or whatever, you know. So, but I, I honestly, it's probably not going to make my collection back here over on the mantle over there. I have a bunch of cereal boxes. It's um, like I said, I was if I was more interested, I'd probably be, I'd probably jump at it. But all right, everybody, thanks for tuning in for another. Indie Comics Relay Serial Review. And like I said, we do these from time to time when we see a cool serial out in the wild. And then, um, you know, something unique, something different, you know. So, um, so yeah, thanks for tuning in. And after you eat some cereal, most importantly, read some comics. <laughs> All right, everybody. Have a good one. And we will talk to you later. Bye.